Jack Draper into you'd S open semifinals as Brit blows Alex to Menorah away after injury scare. British number one Jack Draper is into the semifinals of a Grand Slam for the very first time in his career at the U.S. Open. Jack Draper is two wins away from emulating Emma Raducanu at the U.S. Open after another stunning performance took him to his first Grand Slam semifinal. The British number one saw off world number 10 Alex de Menor 6 to 3, 7 to 5, 6 to 2 to make the Aussie Ruiz comments and reach the last four here without dropping a set, despite having never even got to a slam quarterfinal before this. The Aussie was struggling with his hip injury, but Draper also needed treatment on a thigh injury before winning this survival of the fittest Ashes contest in style. Roger Federer feels sorry for Rafael Nadal and opens up on private chat about retirement. Taylor Fritz's girlfriend Morgan Riddle celebrates U.S. Open win over Alexander Zverev. Serving for the match, he hit an ace, two forehand winners, and a backhand winner for the biggest win of his life. He also fired down 11 aces. Katie Bolter's boyfriend Daminor battled. He saved 14 out of 20 break points, but he could not stay with the youth, pace, and power of Draper, who is now on his road to sporting superstardom. The big left-hander looked at home in his first appearance in the Arthur Ashe Stadium, the biggest court in the world, and has now won 15 consecutive sets in New York. British teenage qualifier Raducanu won the title here in 2021, which was the biggest shock in major history, without dropping a set. She never faced a top 10 player as the highest-ranked player she beat was world number 12 Belinda Bensick in the quarterfinals. Draper beat four unseeded players in the first four rounds with Chinese number one Zhang Jahan pulling out injured after only 65 minutes with a knee problem. He has now seen off the injured world number 10 but will now face the winner of the blockbuster quarterfinal between Grand Slam champions Jan Nick Sinner and Daniil Medvedev on Friday. The Surrey-based star, 22, has already made his own history. In the first Grand Slam since Andy Murray retired, he is the first British man to reach the semi-finals here since the Scot on his way to the title in 2012. Duh, Menor had pulled out on the eve of his Wimbledon quarterfinal with Novak Djokovic after tearing a hip cartilage during his fourth round win. He claimed he was only 80 to 85 percent fit before beating Dan Evans in the third round. And Tim Hemmen told Sky Sports that the Aussie had been struggling to serve during his pre-match warm-up. The world number 10 did not look like his usual self as he lost the first six points Draper won his opening service game to love and then immediately broke the Aussie. De Menor broke back in the third game, only the second time the number 25 seed has dropped his serve this tournament. The British number one raced to a 2-5 lead and De Menor saved four set points on his own serve. In the next game, Draper took his sixth set point when the Aussie was left wrong-footed by a forehand cross-court winner. But it was at the end of the first set that the British number one started to feel his right thigh. At the start of the roller coaster second set, Draper broke again to lead 2 to 1, but then had a medical timeout to have his legs strapped. It was De Menor who looked in more pain as he repeatedly felt his left hamstring. Yet the battling Aussie saved five break points in the seventh game to avoid going five to two down. The number 10 seed then broke Draper and won three consecutive games to force the British number one to serve to stay in the set at 4 to 5. He held to love when the Aussie made four unforced errors and then broke back and took his third set point with a serve and drive backhand volley. De Menor had made his last stand and the third set flew by serving for the match at 5 to 2. He fired down an ace and two big forehands before taking his first match point with a backhand cross court winner. V. Don't forget like, share, subscribe, my channel Babu Das News.